This presentation provides information on forensically sound imaging, including definition, standards, and examples with a focus on acquisition methods. For purposes of this exercise, acquisition methods include physical and logical extraction, bitstream copies, target extractions, and mobile device considerations. Forensically sound data collection refers to the process by which data is collected for e-discovery without any changes to the data or its metadata. To be forensically sound, a data collection process must be defensible, meaning that it is consistent, repeatable, and well documented. This is the foundation of any forensic case. While one does not conduct imaging as a first step in a digital investigation, Preserving evidence should be at the forefront of your mind before proceeding with acquiring evidence. Here you see that in preservation, data is identified and all required resources and tools are obtained. Forensically sound imaging targets what you need to acquire and provides preservation securing the evidence. Note that a device to image would be found in a warrant. What is contained in the warrant is the entire system and description of each component. Every method you see here should be conducted in a forensically sound manner. That means secure, timely, and preserving data integrity. The purpose of a write blocker, as its name suggests, is to block writes from occurring back to an evidence drive you're imaging. There are software and hardware write blockers. The write blocker are placed between the source imaging device or software and the target location where the evidence will be analyzed. Here you see a hardware write blocker in action. The hardware can be performed the imaging. Software such as FTK, XRY, or Linux DD can perform the imaging, but some types of write blocking devices should be used. When possible, tools should be tested and validated by a reputable third party. An image is forensically sound if it is used as a tested and validated write blocker. A physical extraction performs a bit-by-bit -bit copy of the entire contents, such as with hard drives and flash memory of a mobile device. This extraction allows for the collection of all live data and also data that has been deleted or is hidden. By having a bit-by-bit -bit copy, deleted data can be potentially recovered. This means that data that resides outside of the active user data and database files, such as images, videos, installed applications, Location information, emails, and more are able to be extracted and deleted versions of these items may be recovered as well. A physical extraction is forensically sound if the image can be reproduced with the same hash value confirmed by other third parties. Bitstream is what happens when you conduct a physical extraction. This is how that occurs during a physical extraction. Recall that a bitstream image is a sector-by-sector -sector or bit-by-bit -bit copy of a hard drive. A bitstream image is actually a set of files that can be used to create an exact copy of a hard drive, preserving all latent data in addition to the files and directory structures. A bitstream image can be read by the majority of the tools used by the computer forensics examiner to analyze the hard drives, such as Zencase, FTK, ProDiscover, and many others. By utilizing the bitstream image, the computer forensic examiner takes no risk of contaminating the original evidence. The computer forensics examiner creates the bitstream image by attaching the original computer media to a write protection device that ensures no writes can take place to the original media while the bitstream image is created. Hashing the drive and image should be reproducible by independent third parties. This is what makes the bitstream copy forensically sound. In digital forensics, the term logical extraction is typically used to refer to the extractions that do not recover deleted data or do not include a full bit-by-bit -bit copy of the evidence. However, a more correct definition of logical extraction, also defined as any method that requires communication with the base operating system. Because of this interaction with the operating system, a forensic examiner cannot be sure that they have recovered all of the data possible. The operating system is choosing which data it allows the examiner to access. In traditional computer forensics, logical extraction is analogous to copying and pasting a folder in order to extract data from a system. 
This process will only copy files that the user can access and see. If any hidden or deleted files are present in the folder being copied, they will not be in the pasted version of the folder. The difference in using forensic software is that a write blocker is used. The use of a write blocker and validated tools that have been thoroughly tested ensure that the imaging process is forensically sound. While a logical extraction uncovers what you see is what you get, a targeted extraction will look for the contents of a specific folder. Here you have an idea of what you're looking for. For example, when investigating a credit card fraud, you would look for documents indicating account information, purchases, and receipts tied to a suspect in the form of documents and ledgers. Using a write blocker along with a tested and validated tool ensures a forensically sound image. There may be times at a crime scene where intervention is required when seizing mobile devices, such as smartphones. Immediate data recovery is required when a delay can cause loss of evidence from a remote wipe, device lock, or drain battery. To prevent a remote wipe, over-the-air updates, or rebooting, ensure that the device is off all networks including cellular, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. There are solutions for mobile device extractions, such as MSAB's line of forensics products, like their tablet solution. The first thing that a digital forensics investigator should do is to gather a repertoire of tools, both hardware and software, and ensure that they are tested and verified to do what they claim to do. Each tool should adhere to industry standards and be widely accepted by the digital forensics community. Consider that there are different scenarios that call for different extraction methods. You may be looking to undercover contraband so a physical extraction or bitstream copy would be appropriate in order to uncover hidden or deleted files. In other situations, time may be of the essence when you have multiple terabyte drives, yet you are aware of specific artifacts. In this case, a targeted extraction would be called upon for specific documents, files, and folders. Ensure that any tools you use can perform different extraction methods. Be ready to explain and justify your imaging methods in court.